A big feature of Outlook 2010 is being able to schedule meetings with other people. And Outlook makes it very simple. We can go in and we can schedule the meeting, change the times, invite people, and then send those invitations out. Let's have a look. To schedule a meeting here in Outlook, I'm going to make sure I'm in my calendar view. And this is going to work very similar to adding an appointment or an event. So if you're familiar with that, there's going to be a lot of similarities. If you're not, you may want to go back and check out the adding an appointment video for our Outlook course. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a meeting here on the 11th of January. And what I'm going to do is on the 11th, I'm going to right click. And it's going to come up with my menu of things to add, like appointments, events but one of them is the new meeting request. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you're gonna see a box pop up. And again, this is gonna be very familiar to appointments or events like I mentioned before. And basically what we have down here, it almost takes on the form of an email because I'm gonna send this out to other people, of course, who I wanna to invite to the meeting. So we can see here a to field, a subject field, a location field, and then as well, we have some areas to set the exact date and time. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll come in and I'll add the subject. So let's say this is a marketing meeting. The location, maybe this is in room, I don't know, B, something like that. And I'll come in here and I'll set a time. Let's say I want a time from, let's say, 10 to 11. Now, I have to go and I have to actually invite people to the meeting. So one of the ways I can do this is click on the to button here. And what it's going to do is it's going to launch a box that's going to let me go through and look at my contacts and choose whether they're going to be required for this meeting, optional attendees, or I can even add a resource if I have that actually set up in my contacts, things like maybe a projector, for example. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find somebody I want to invite to this meeting. So let's say I want to go ahead and invite this person here. And if I want them to be required, I can simply press the required button and that will add them in. And I can add as many people as I want. So if I want to add this person here, maybe they're optional, I can click on optional there and I can add just as many as I like. I can also right click on people here and I can cut them out of there if I need to remove them. So let's say I've got my people set up and I'm going to go ahead and press OK and I'll add them here to the to field. Now, there's even a, a better way of going in and scheduling these meetings. And I can actually see people's appointments and see their schedules so I can better schedule my meeting for a time that's gonna work for everyone. I can do that by going up here to the ribbon and clicking on the scheduling button. And when I click that, it's gonna change my view. And on the left, I'm going to see all the attendees I've invited here. And then on the right, I'm gonna see a timeline outlining their actual schedule. And I can see here there's student C03 that I added in. And it also has me here, student C02 added in. And that's great. And I'm going to scroll over here. And I can see st student C03's appointments here. And I can see that uh, from about 9.30 to 11, they have a consulting thing going on. And then they have lunch. And then there's uh, something else in here as well, a project meeting. So maybe I want to go ahead and change my time to something that fits everyone's schedule. And you can see I have these red and green lines here. And that will actually let me change the meeting time by clicking and dragging these. And so I can fit it into the time slot here, let's say 11 to 12, where I can see that person's schedule is free. And once I've got that the way I like, I can go back to appointment up here at the top. That takes me back and you can see it's actually changed my time here from 11 to 12. That's great. And if I need to add any notes down here, I can bring your binders. And there you go. Now, just like with appointments and events, I can come up here and I can set a reminder time before this meeting. So 15 minutes ahead of time, it's going to have a reminder pop up. And I can also set what it will show my schedule as if I'm going to be set as busy or out of the office or tentative or free. Well, since this is a meeting, we'll say we're going to be busy, but not necessarily out of the office. So I'll leave that at busy there. That's great. And when I'm ready to go, I can go ahead and I can press send. And that'll send out the meeting invitation to everybody in the meeting. And it's going to go ahead and also add that appointment into the calendar. So there it is, nice and easy to go ahead and schedule a meeting. Now, if you want to be able to actually see people's appointments and events in the scheduling view, you have to be on a Microsoft Exchange network.